Hey Taurus, happy Tuesday. It is Ashley here at Fire Intuition and I am here to do a collective reading for you all. This is going to be for Taurus, Sun will rising, also Venus. Keep in mind that this is general and that it may not resonate with all of you Taurus out there. So please do only take what resonates with you and never force it to fit. All right, so let's hop into your collective reading. Let's see what's going on with you guys at this time, Taurus. I'm going to start out with some spirit messages and then we'll hop into the love portion of your reading. All right, so let's see what's going on with Taurus. If I resonate with you, Taurus, please do like, share, comment, subscribe, and our follow. Hit that bell. Let's see. Messages for Taurus. Archangel Michael, what messages do you have for Taurus at this time? So it says, your prayers are being answered, number 42, which breaks down to six, which is the past, but it's also about balance. Maybe balance is being restored. Okay, so maybe something is going to bring balance and stability into your life or something is going to balance out or work out. It says your prayers are being received by the divine. Answers will soon come, although perhaps in forms you didn't expect. So I feel like the universe is going to bless you in some type of way. Your prayers are being answered. Um, but I feel like whatever it is, I don't know why. I feel like you guys are reflecting on the past or thinking about something of the past like, or something that happened in the past or maybe you want things to go back to the, how they were in the past. I'm not sure what this is about. Okay. But for others of you, it's like whatever this is you are asking for, I feel like it's going to bring more balance and stability into your life. I feel like it's going to definitely help you guys out extremely, whatever this is. So continue to pray um, and trust to have faith in the divine. They are going to help you. All right. So we have number two. All right, so some of you guys can be seeing um, 22, the number two a lot, 422, all right? Um, angels of healing are with you. A time of healing is about to bless your life. Except Archangel Raphael, Emerald Green, Light, while I embrace your strength. So some of you guys are needing to call him Archangel Raphael. Um, he is the Archangel for healing. So is Archangel Michael. But remember, we have different Archangels. Um, and if you guys have time, you guys can Google who is your um, Archangel. Because when you guys were born, you guys were assigned an Archangel. Depending on, I think it's depending on either the year or the month you were born. I don't remember. And I should know this. I feel like it's the year you were born. Yes, okay? You guys can look up your archangel, okay? Um, and you can call on your archangel to help you. But the archangels, they have different archangels for different reasons. They have archangels for love, for healing, um, like for creativity, for life purpose, um, for your shock, your chakras, all that type of stuff. That's archangel Metatron. So there's different archangels that will help you. So I don't know why I'm telling you guys this um, to where. So I feel like some of you guys are really needing to like look into your archangels or look into the archangels and see what benefits they can bring to your life or how you can use them in your life to help you guys heal or bring in like finances, money, love, stuff like that. Okay. At the bottom, we have increase your knowledge. Number 15, education brings opportunities. Take a course, pick up a book or find a mentor to teach you what your soul longs to know. So that's interesting. Just going back a little bit to how I was talking about the archangels. Um, and not saying like that's what this card means, no, but it was just interesting how it says increase your knowledge and it says education brings opportunities. And I had just told you guys that, like how you guys can Google, look it up and research it and stuff like that. Because it says pick up a book, take a course, you know, find a mentor, but also like doing research. But for some of you guys, you guys are going to fast track, take some type of course. And it's going to help you guys financially. For others of you, um, picking up a book is going to educate you guys or help you guys in some type of way. And some of you guys are needing to find a mentor or a coach or somebody that can help teach and guide you guys um, and put you on uh, your correct path or help you guys as far as like a life coach, relationship coach, spiritual coach, something like that. All right. So these are your three spirit messages with Archangel Michael. I love these cards. I love the images too. All right. So let's, so let's hop into the love portion of your reading let's see what's going on with Taurus right. spirit please guide me with reading when it comes to the sign of Taurus what do I need to know in here when it comes to their love life at this time Taurus sun moon rising also Venus I don't know why the deck seems stiff Taurus I don't like that you guys may be going through something right now. There may be like stagnant energy around you guys. Maybe you feel stagnant. I 
you know, because the deck was shuffling and doing good. There we go. I had to probably knock out some of that energy. But, um, yeah, let's see. Let's see what's going on with you, Taurus. All right, Spirit, please give me messages for Taurus when it comes to love. Taurus. Let's see. What is the heart of the matter for Taurus? So we have the Knight of Swords reverse, okay? Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. All right, so Knight of Swords in reverse, this can be a missed opportunity, okay? Um, this can be a missed opportunity or this is you guys leaving something behind. For some of you guys, maybe not wanting to argue with somebody, fight with them. Um, you may feel like somebody is dangerous, difficult. You may find the situation is not good and you're like, you know what? I can't see myself involved or in that. I need to leave. Or you're just deciding to leave the situation behind. Sometimes with the Knight of Swords reverse, it's like you don't want to argue. You're not fighting. You're not saying anything. Usually you can be quick to say something, but in this case, you're just like, mm -mm, no, nah, I'm done. All right, let's see what's challenging this energy. We have, wow, look, the Queen of Swords reverse. So it definitely can be an air sign around you guys, okay? So the Queen of Swords reverse could be an X. That can be you guys' energy. I just have to see first. It could be a third-party energy. Um, but the Queen of Swords, when she's in reverse, she is not cute at all. Like, she is, she's going to, she's, she's bitchy. She's going to go off. She's going to tell you how it is. She doesn't care. She's mean. She can be spiteful. She can lie, cheat, whatever. So, I want to see what this is about, Taurus, because this seems deep. And, no, I don't need my computer to go to sleep. Sorry, guys. Um... Yeah, that seems deep, okay, with that energy there. So, let's see what's going on with you guys. Um, sorry, it's worse. Okay. All right. So, let's see where your mind is at. Where is Taurus's mind at at this time? So, this is trying to come up. We have the moon. Could be a Pisces or a Cancer. So, you feel like something is off or something is wrong or something is hidden. You feel like somebody can be lying to you or deceiving you or or something at this time um, with the moon here. Or this can be you keeping some type of dark secret or not telling somebody something. So let's see what's going on within your foundation. For Taurus, we have the four of wands reverse. This is a breakup. This is the ending of something. Family, friends, people not happy with you or happy with your person, your situation. Something is not right within your foundation with the four of wands reverse. Could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. Let's see recent past. We have the page of cups. So this could have been a new love. This could have been somebody expressing their feelings towards you. Look, we have the devil here, Capricorn energy. There could be a Capricorn that you guys are dealing with or deciding to be with. Yeah, the nine of pentacles, two of pentacles are reversing the devil. Could have been a Capricorn or somebody that you were wanting to be with or somebody that was wanting to be with you. But if you guys were wanting to be with this person or they were wanting to be with you, it would have been a codependent code situation. Somebody could have wanted to be with somebody based on finances or stability with that nine of pentacles. All right, so let's see. Let's go into the um, near future. We have the chariot cancer energy. So moving forward. Okay. So maybe coming out of this situation altogether, Taurus. Um, let's see how you see yourself. Okay. Wow. You see yourself as a ten of swords. So maybe you, you see yourself as being hurt and betrayed right now. Okay. Or you see yourself in a really bad situation and you're trying to get out of it. But I feel like it's more about you see yourself hurt and betrayed. How, um, yeah. This is how you see yourself, how people see you. We have the high priestess, more Pisces energy. So people see you as being like very like low-key, secretive, moving in silence, not really saying much, keeping to yourself. In your hopes and fears, we have the seven of swords reverse. Yeah, you're waiting for some lie or something to be revealed, some type of deception or something to come out. But it's like there's lie after lie after lie after lie, I feel, is what I'm getting. For the potential outcome, we have the tower. Could be a Scorpio. It's all about to come crumbling down, fall apart. I feel like out of nowhere, you know, it's like, boom, like something's about to happen. You guys are definitely about to have some type of tower moment. We have the five of wands reverse, five of cups, two of wands. Somebody is sad and disappointed. Somebody is just like, why the fuck did I do this? Because we have the five of wands reverse. Okay, we have it with the five of cups. And this is like you no longer battling the situation, no longer fighting. You know, you're coming out of conflict. You're just like, I'm done. I'm sad. I, you know. It's there's just sadness, regret, whatever. We have the two of wands. This is about making a better decision or choice. Are you finally making that decision to move forward or come out of this situation? But I feel like it has it has made you sad. It has it let you down in some type of way. And we have judgment here, okay? So I feel like the judgment you're just like you're just like why? I feel like you are reflecting on the decision you made in the past, as far as like this situation, this person. Are you guys are just like mm mm? 
Like, why did it have to be this way? That's what I'm really feeling with the judgment card. But I'm going to, you know, break it down and clarify and see what's going on with you guys when it comes to your reading. Actually, I forgot to pull your three cards um, from the T deck. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to put them to the side like I did with the other times. But I was wondering, I'm like, something is off. Something feels wrong. So let's see, Taurus. I'm going to move these out the way. And then I am going to um, pull your cards, okay? So let's see. I'm going to keep these here, but I'm going to pull your three love messages. We're going to clarify these at the end, but let's see what's going on with Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, also Venus. All right, Taurus, so let's see. Damn, you guys want to take this card off the ground. Taurus, give me three messages for Taurus. Sorry, Taurus. Okay, so we have fishing for comments. We have shine. Your light irritates their demons. Yeah. And then we have love triangle, third party, multiple lovers, choices. Somebody had you guys in a third party. Somebody had multiple lovers. See, look. Somebody had multiple lovers. And I feel like, I don't know, Taurus, you might be innocent in this situation. You know, I feel like maybe you didn't know what was going on because we have fishing for comments. And I feel like you're going to find something out in the comments or see some type of comments or something like that. And I feel like somebody was with you because they felt like you were innocent. You didn't really know much. You know, um, they thought that they can probably play you and put you, um, you know, they thought they could play you and put you in a third party. They thought you could have been like naive or something like that. You know, but they also seen a good in you. Like, they saw that you were different from them. I thought that's what attracted them to you. But it's something fishy going on. Let's see. We have romantic love affair and moves in silence. Yeah, see, and dirt digging. Looking for dirt on you or vice versa. And that's what I feel like you're doing right here. This is how people see you. Because you feel betrayed in a situation, Taurus. Like, you're, like, putting two and two together. And you're like, no, I feel betrayed. Like, you're like, because I feel like you guys have been bitching and going off. And I'm not trying to disrespect you or when I say that. Like, oh, calling you guys out your name. No. But what I'm saying, Taurus, is I feel like if you have been going off or bitchy or snappy or saying something, I feel like it's because you suspect or feel something. Remember, your mind is the moon. So you feel like there's deception around you or somebody's deceiving you. But I feel like you can't put, you know, you can't put your, um, what is that saying? Anyways, but it's just like, you're like, I know it's there, but you may not have proof or all the evidence, but you're like, no, I know something's wrong. Something isn't right. I feel like you may see some comments or seen something. You feel like somebody's been lying and lying and lying. And I feel like that's what the dirt digging is about. And the moving silence would definitely resonate with the high priestess. And the romantic love affair is you finding out about the secret lovers, the fuck buddy, whoever they were having sex with them. We have love triangle here. So it all makes sense. So I guess somebody thought they can like play you. They thought they can play you and use you and, and put you in a, in a love triangle, you know? So let's go ahead and clarify Taurus because this is going deep, deep, okay? So let's see what's going on with Taurus. Spirit, what's going on with Taurus? Someone rising also Venus. What do they need to know in here at this time when it comes to their love life? Spirit of Universe. All right, let's see. Why is the Knight of Swords in reverse? Why is the Knight of Swords in reverse? Knight of Swords in reverse for Taurus. What is this about? The Emperor. Could be an Aries or a Taurus. This can also be somebody that is committed or already in some type of relationship. Okay, this can be your Divine Masculine as well. But um, I feel like this is also you, Taurus, standing in your power, taking back control of the situation. Is what I feel like, like you guys are stepping into your masculine energy because remember with the Knight of Swords in reverse, this is you guys leaving the situation. This is like a missed opportunity. You're like, this is not what I signed up for. This is not what I want with the um this energy here. Yeah, see, look, we have temperance, Sagittarius. So I feel like things are going to get out of control. And temperance in reverse is like you guys clashing, arguing, getting into it. This is you not wanting to reconcile your differences with this person or work things out. Temperance in reverse can also kind of be like, you're just like, damn, like I loved you and I obviously... You know, you don't feel the same way as me because you have me in this third party or have me in this little situation and have all these lovers and multiple people. So I feel like, you know, you're kind of all over the place right now emotionally and don't really know how you feel. But I feel like at the same time, by you leaving, it's like you're 
stepping back into your power and taking control over the situation is what I feel. We do have the Queen of Swords in reverse. This is what is challenging you. So this can be the other person, the third party, or this can be your energy, your attitude, or how you're handling the situation. But with the Emperor there, yeah, with the Emperor there, okay, so we have the Sun in reverse. So I see you are disappointed. I see you're mad. You do feel some type of way with the Sun in reverse. The Sun in reverse with the Queen of Swords in reverse is like you're reacting out of emotion, okay, with temperance in reverse and the Sun here because somebody let you down. You're not happy. You feel hurt. You feel deceived. You feel played. Okay, you feel betrayed. And then we have the Two of Wands reverse. Okay, so the Two of Wands reverse is, um, hmm, this can be you guys kind of like disappointed about the situation with the Two of Wands reverse. And I feel like for some of you guys, you guys are staying put, maybe didn't decide, like, you know, should I stay? Should I go? What should I do? You know, like, I feel like you guys didn't really have it planned out. I feel like this is just something that all of a sudden just came up or you just found out and you're like, yeah, I need to go. I need to get out of this situation. I need to be done. Okay. So let's see. Why is the two of wands in reverse? Why is the two of wands in reverse for Taurus? Yeah, the higher font. Mm, okay. So this is your energy, Taurus. This could have been some type of lesson for you. But if not, I feel like somebody was still in a commitment are dealing with somebody that was in some type of commitment here. And I feel like that's why you really feel betrayed. Okay? And I and now and I feel like somebody could have been like serious and had like just multiple people on the side. You know what I'm saying? And then I'm also getting like, okay, I don't know why I'm getting this source, but I feel like there was a relationship. Like a main relationship and then I feel like there was another relationship. Okay? Like Somebody who had their main relationship, could have been married, serious, living together, whatever. But then there was another relationship, right? And I feel like somebody knew about it. Like, they knew that this person was committed or whatever. And I'm not, I'm not sure where you, where you fit at in this. But then I feel like there was a third relationship for some reason. I don't know why I'm getting that. But I feel like it was like a four-party situation, okay? Um, and I also see right here, like, somebody could have been pregnant and somebody wasn't happy about the pregnancy. Or somebody is not happy that somebody is pregnant. So, I don't, I don't know. I'm going right, to go with my intuition because that's what I feel. So, that's what I'm getting. So, let's see. Let's um, jump into the moon. Let's see why the moon is here. All right. When it comes to um, where your mind is at. Why is the moon here for Taurus and where their mind is at? We have the nine of swords. So somebody is stressed. You're really stressed out about this. See, five of swords. You're just like really mad. I feel like you're just like, you know, like when you like, you like cuss yourself out or have that talk with yourself. Like, why the fuck did I do this? I was stupid for this. Like, why? I feel like you're having that talk with yourself. And I feel like it's just really stressing you out. Because I feel like you're really in the dark about a lot of this stuff. And I feel like you, because you didn't know, that's why you're so stressed and feel so betrayed. But then I also feel like when it comes to the person you guys are dealing with, I feel like they're really the person losing sleep over how they did you. You know what I'm saying? I feel like they're really losing sleep over how um, how bad they did you is what I'm getting. Because like even though this is where your mind is at, I feel like whoever this is, it's like they know they pulled an asshole move. Like I feel like somebody is like not happy about what they did, but I feel like it just happened, you know? So... Mm -hmm. Let's see why the four of wands is in reverse. We have the moon. Yeah, see, something was going on around you with the person that you were with in your environment. Yeah, see, somebody was sneaking out, lying, playing you. You know, so I and, that, and I feel like you found out, and that's how there's a breakup. Yeah, see, look, you confronted them. Somebody confronted somebody about some type of third party or some type of relationship. Somebody did, you did confront them, Taurus. So somebody, um, you found something out with that digging dirt. Okay, you confronted them. Whose energy is the nine of swords? Is that Taurus or the person? No, this is the person that you got to deal with. Could be an Aquarius. See, look, and I feel like this person is like, they're trying to move on, but they feel like hopeless. They feel bad for how they did you. That's why I said I feel like they're losing sleep. They're losing sleep over how bad they did you, you know, or how bad they played you. And I feel like, um... I don't know. I feel like this person was just going to just play things out. Like, you know what I'm saying? It is. Yeah, see, the strength card reverse. This is somebody that just, like, they don't have no backbone. They're not going to speak up. They're not going to say nothing, you know? They don't have the courage to say anything. They weren't going to say anything. They're not going to speak up about what happened. So let's go into the recent past. We have the Page of Cups here. Why is the Page of Cups here for the recent past? The Six of Swords. 
So there could have been distance between you guys, but I feel like you guys were staying in communication. You know, or I feel like with the um, Six of Swords and the Page of Cups, I feel like things were cool. You guys were moving forward. You guys were like kind of like at peace in the situation. You guys were coming together. You guys were expressing and showing love and feelings towards each other. Yeah, I see you guys moving forward with the Chariot in the recent past. And then coming into the near future, we still have the Chariot here. So why is the Chariot here? We have the Seven of Wands. But now I see you like putting things on hold. Seven of Wands, standing your ground, like stopping the situation from moving forward. Somebody doesn't want to move forward anymore. Not with the Chariot and the Seven of Wands here. Seven of Pentacles. Somebody's thinking. This can be also, you guys, I wouldn't say procrastinating, but it's like you're deciding to like kind of stop things for right now and kind of like not move it forward, you know, because there's some disappointment here. Yeah, you feel like you feel some type of way. You're disappointed. You feel let down by this person. Four of Cups to the Five of Cups. You feel sad. You feel disappointed. You feel some type of way because you found out they were juggling. you. Yeah, look, see, Page of Swords. You could have found out in their phone, DMs, something like that, but you found something out, okay? Um... And that's why you don't want to move forward anymore with this person. So let's see why the Ten of Swords is here. That was a death card that was coming out. So I'm going to take it. The death card in reverse. So maybe it's, it's maybe you just can't get over how they betrayed you. It's the death card in reverse. So it's like, it could be Scorpio you guys are dealing with, but you just like, you're like, I can't get over how they betrayed me. I can't get over how bad they betrayed me. That's how I feel like you guys feel. And look, see, look, we have the Queen of Wands in first. There could have been an Aries deal or Sagittarius involved. But I feel like what it also was is that whoever this third party was or whoever they were dealing with, I feel like they probably told you bad things about this person or, or made it seem like this person was somebody that they weren't dealing with. Because I feel like in this situation, that's why you feel even more betrayed, Taurus. I feel like you feel even more betrayed because you're just like, how? Like, them? Like, you told me that you wouldn't deal with them, you know, or maybe this person told you they'll never deal with your person, or it could just be like an ex or like, you know, somebody that they were dealing with that, you know, you know of or talk to, and they're like, no, we don't mess around, couldn't find out they do. It could be something like that as well. So that's probably why you just felt like the ultimate betrayal. Like, you just feel like this is worse than worse. So how people see you as a high priestess, let's see why the high priestess is here, Pisces energy. To a cup screen verse. Yeah, they're trying to figure out why you don't want to be with them. They're trying to figure out why you broke things off, why you ended things with them. Because I feel like this person doesn't didn't suspect for you to find out. But over here, it's saying like you confronted them. They feel like you still don't have proof. They feel like you still don't like know what you're talking about. Or they might feel like you still don't, you know, have receipts or stuff like that. Or emails or texts or whatever. But I feel like you know that you know like something went, went down or what's going on. But let's see why is it to a cup screen verse. Eight of Wands reverse. Yeah, you cut off communication or you will be. Things are changing. You guys aren't moving forward anymore. That's what you probably could have told them as well. And yeah, it's due to the back and forth and the juggling. So how they see you is um, they're trying to understand why you cut, cut them off and don't want to communicate with them anymore. They want to figure out like what changed your mind. Why are you like one minute you wanted this and the next minute you don't. That's what they're trying to figure out. Whoever you guys are dealing with. Okay, now with the Seven of Swords reverse, or what's in your hopes and fears, I feel like you guys kind of feared that this person was lying or that they were going to lie to you or that they have been lying for some time. Let me see, we have the Page of Pentacles, we have the Hermit, Virgo energy. Some of you guys can be dealing with a Virgo, but I feel like with this energy here, it's you kind of like, damn, like, they could have told you certain things or it could have just been things that they, yes, I feel like there's certain things they could have told you. And I feel like with the Hermit, Maybe you guys kind of overthink things at time towards are like you're really smart when it comes to certain things like what people tell you are just like, you know, just having common sense and putting things together. And I feel like with them, I feel like it could have just kind of like when in one ear, not the other. And it's like you heard them, but maybe you didn't really take note and really think about it, you know, and then now it's like you're sitting there like, damn, they did tell me this. And that does make sense. You know, so the hermit is telling me like you're like reflecting back on the things that they told you. And you are hoping that, like, it wouldn't lead to this, but it did. You know, um, the Hermit is also you shining a light on some of the things they told you as well. So, it, like, it all makes sense now. Something just, I don't know, I can't, I don't know what it is, but it's like something makes sense now. Or it's like it all makes sense now. And I feel like you would know what that is. So, with the tower, let's see, why is the tower here for um, Taurus for the potential outcome? Why is the tower here? The Ten of Cups. Hmm. And we have the Eight of Cups. So you get your Ten of Cups after walking away from this situation, Taurus. See, look. Somebody gets like some type of happily ever after after walking away from this situation. 
okay? Or somebody is walking away from this situation to go back to their family, okay? Or to go towards the person that is pregnant or to go back towards a family situation, if that's not what this is. But that's what I'm about to clarify and see. See, look, we have the high priestess and we have the tower. So I also feel like Taurus, your intuition was guiding and helping you get through this and you needed this tower. And now all of a sudden there's going to be some type of blessing in disguise because I feel like with the high priestess in the tower, like you may feel like it's bad or the, the worst is, you know, like this. I can't believe this. Why am I going through this? But I see like a, a new beginning or something good for you happening. The tower doesn't always have to be bad. It doesn't always have to be a destruction or things crumbling, falling down. It can be a blessing in disguise. It can be something that just happens off the blue out of nowhere. But that's what I'm trying to figure out. Got yeah, the four of pentacles. Taurus. The king of swords. So good news. All I can tell you, Taurus, right, is what I'm seeing is good news comes in after something comes out. Okay? And I feel like you could have also been holding in this information, Taurus. Um, and you finally got it out. Or what needed to come out come is going to come out. And I feel like it's going to help you move forward and allow you to walk away. But it's like good news comes in after walking away or ending this situation. So this is like something bad. We know we see something bad happening. It's like after that, something good is coming in right after is what I'm getting. Okay. So let's see what we have. We have fishing for comments. We have shine. And we have a love triangle. So we have fishing for comments and we have the ace of pentacles. That may be how you guys found out about some type of commitment. Okay, that may be how you guys found out about somebody, okay, in a relationship or some type of commitment with the shine. See, look, your light irritates their demons. And I feel like there was something about you um, when it came to this person. They were very attracted to you. You guys can be spiritual or you just, like I said, you were like innocent. Like, you know, you were different from them and they really wanted to pursue you with the king of wands. And we have... Um, the eight of cups with the love triangle and i feel like that's what you guys are walking away from this third party from this love triangle you're not going to be in the middle like you're like i'm not going to be one of your lovers you can't just like play me and just have me in some type of third party that's what i'm definitely feeling so let's put some love messages to us and see what else we get messages for Taurus. All right, Taurus, let's see. Spirit, give me three love messages for Taurus. So we have revenge. We have taken a risk in other love, other loves. So we have revenge, lasting, lashing out in anger, holding on to grief, time to forgive and forget. So efficient comments and the revenge and ace of pentacles. I feel like, I don't feel like you guys are trying to get this person back or want revenge, Taurus. But I feel like it might just be a time for you guys to like forgive them. You know, and move on from the situation. Because I feel like the proof is right in front of you when you see the situation for what it is. And I don't feel like that situation is going to change. Or something in the situation I feel like is not going to change. Okay, so we have Shine and the King of Wands. We have taken a risk. Yeah, new adventure, putting yourself out there, unknown outcome. And that's what I'm saying. Like, you're like, you're like, um, what to say? Your light irritates their demons. And I feel like because you are different. You know, I feel like this person wanted to talk to. They were all in. They were attracted to you and stuff. But I feel like because you were opposite or different from them, they couldn't, like, really handle you or deal with the situation. But I feel like there was feelings involved or this person really just wanted to take a risk. You know, they could have been an energy vampire as well. You know, or it could have been things that you were just doing. It just could have been you, your energy, the person that you are. And this was something new. So they put their stuff out there. But they knew they had these lies and these demons and this deceit inside of them. Okay um are within them like they knew they were lying and being deceitful all along okay we have love triangle and we have let's see it says other people in the mix someone is cheating need to date around so yeah i feel like with this they have other lovers okay it can't be no more clear than that because we see that in the reading over here and then over here it says other lovers okay someone is cheating we have other lovers so yeah and i feel like that's what you guys found out we do have chemistry at the bottom with the jealousy and we have difficult well with the jealousy it says not being respectful unfair wondering i and i feel like there was chemistry and i thought like maybe you guys could have been a little jealous because you felt like they could have been taking their attention off of you or something like that but then i feel like it's not really jealousy so the person that created this deck i don't know how they got jealousy and they got that i mean with the wonder and i get but not being respectful to me wouldn't be so much jealousy i don't know but um but difficult too much drama frustrating not willing to change and i feel like 
even though there's chemistry, you know that this is a difficult situation. And with the jealousy card, all I can take out of this is not being respectful. So I feel like this person is like, you, you're you seeing like they're not going to ever respect you, you know, because despite the chemistry and how much you guys got along and bonded, it's just a difficult situation and it comes with too much drama. And I feel like this is something that you guys need to move on from, okay? Um, and let's see, let's see what, um, where you guys are blocked at. And then we're going to pull some evil eye cards and then that will be a reading. Taurus, so let's see, where is Taurus? Um, blocked that when it or where's this not Taurus blocked that where's this relationship blocked that Taurus where's this relationship blocked that we have sex only either you or your partner only want sex except that it's okay I reach for more and I fight that was a problem I fight they wanted sex only maybe it was just sex to them and you thought it was more than that okay um but somebody just wanted sex and somebody should have made that clear that they just wanted a sex only relationship you know and maybe you thought you guys are really going to have something or more than just sex. And then we have seeking perfection. Everyone has flaws. Choose only five must-haves in deal breakers that matter. So I feel like this person wasn't perfect. I feel like you guys could have saw the flaws from the beginning, all the red flags. But I feel like you still chose to give it a chance and move forward. And, you know, I feel like maybe you guys even took a risk with this person as well. It could have started out as just sex. You know, but maybe they were, like, very attractive because the King of Wands is, like, a sexy motherfucker, okay? They're sexy. They're very attractive, okay? And they could have lured you in with their looks or it was something about them and you're just like, dang, I really like them. I'm, you know, I'm interested. I'm invested. And then it could have just went from there, okay? So, um, let's pull your evil eye messages. This may or may not resonate with the reading. I'm just pulling this out just to see, like, you know, what ill will or negative energy is being sent to you guys. This is just to add it, add it, added it to the reading. But let's see what we got for you, Taurus. Let's see what's going on with Taurus. Who's taking on Taurus? They think they are more superior to you. So whoever this is, they think that they're more superior to you. They think that they're more important. All right, we have this hater is bringing you income. So whoever this is, it's somebody that brings you income, gives you income. It could be somebody at your job, someone that pays you money for something, a service, something like that. We have this hater wishes they were talented like you. So this person wishes they were as talented as you, Taurus. Okay? But for some of you guys, be careful because if, if this is like a service or something, Taurus, or you provide a service, it's like people are bringing you money. Like, they, like you make money off of them, but they're hating on you at the same time and sending you like negative energy. So, like, say, like, if you're a nail tech, hairdresser, maybe if you're a reader and you're a tourist or what, you know, whatever. I'm just giving examples. It's like this person, like, they wish they were as talented as you when they come to you. They like your services, but they also hate on you at the same time or think negative about you or say negative things about you. It says this hater has humi hum humiliated you before. So, for some of you guys, this person has humiliated you before, made a scene, acted out, did something crazy. It says they feel like... Your only motive is to compete with them. Okay? So this person may think you're trying to compete with them. I think it's the other way around, though. Because remember, we have this hater wishes you, um, they were as talented as you. Okay? This hater is nice to your face. And you actually like them. So this can be somebody that you like or that you get along with or that you think is cool. But they don't think that about you, Taurus. Okay? They smile in your face the whole time they want to take your place. All right? Backstab us. All right, so that is what I have for you, Taurus. Um, if it resonated, please do like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that bell, and our follow. If you want to book a personal reading, Taurus, fireintuition.com. You guys can um, now book personal readings on my online shop um, with Afterpay, but you guys have to book it on mytearshavehealedmyheart.com. So I have two websites that have readings on it. Fire intuition or my tears have healed my heart.com. Okay, all that information is also in the description box below and pinned in the comments as well. All right, I love you, Taurus. Uh oh, I'm gonna drop my coffee. Bye, y'all.